Yes, Aunt Tiffany, I am so excited for your wedding. It will be the event of the century. No, none of the other girls are coming. You know how crazy they can get at parties. Oh, on second thought, Aunt Tiffany, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Guys, since I broke my leg, I'm gonna need to send some of you to Aunt Tiffany's wedding. Um, Sage, Caroline, Ella, you guys are gonna need to take my place. So you guys should probably get ready. I'm gonna go sit down. You look great. You too. Hey, um, I need some help. Okay. What should I wear? What, what do you wear to weddings? Well, you're going to want to wear white. Oh, and you need to wear a veil. Oh, yes. You cannot forget the veil. White and a veil. Okay, got it. Thanks. Me and Caroline are tricking Ella about what to do at weddings. Don't you think that's a little much? Oh, we've done way worse. Hey, Marisol. How's your leg? It hurts. What can I do to help? I'm taking advantage of Marisol's injury to take such good care of her that she'll feel like she needs to pay me. Isn't that kind of wrong? Eh. Well, I'm kind of thirsty. How about some hot tea? That sounds great. Thanks. You're being so nice. Just helping my crippled sister. Too nice. Samantha is never this nice. She must be taking advantage of my injury to get something. Money or something. I'm gonna teach Samantha a lesson. I stayed up so late last night rereading Wizard of Oz. And I had the strangest dream. Let me tell you about it. Meatloaf. I don't think we're in unspecified location anymore. Ow! You hurt me! Oh, uh, sorry. Well, he's alright. So, like, you're stuck down there? Like, you can't move? Well, I guess not, no. So, like, if I took these shoes, there's nothing you could do about it? Well, I suppose so. Well, I'm just going to take these. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> uh, my bubble broke down. Okay, um, where am I? You're in Oz. How, how do I get back home? Well, go see the Wizard of Oz. Where is he? H how do I get to him? Just follow the dotted lines. Well, all right. Thanks. Here is your hot tea, and I brought you a muffin. But I just ate. Eat the muffin! I mean, I'll just set it over here if you want it later. If you need anything else, just ask. I will do anything. Well, maybe you could get me... Rose's Rapunzel Tiara? Except that! Why do you need Rose's Rapunzel tiara? She will murder me if she finds out. You said you would do anything. I guess you must be a liar. I thought you loved me. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. Um, I'll be right back. What? Why you don't know, you thief? What is she talking about? My Rapunzel tiara is missing and all of you are suspects. Ooh! A crime! Can I be the investigator? Please? Uh, yeah, sure. 
I know one of you took it, and when I find out who, you're gonna get it, I tell you. Get it! This is great and all, but I'm gonna go more now. It's customary to say how horrible the bride looks when she starts walking down the aisle. On a wedding day, that's taken as a compliment. Alright, got it. How do you know Tiffany? Well, after today, she'll be my sister-in-law. Doesn't she look so hideous? Uh... She looks huge. I mean, boy, does she look ugly. What a scared looking crow. I guess you could call it a scarecrow. <laughs> I kill myself. Finally! The curse has been broken! A human has uttered a terrible pun. Hey, listen, kid, don't ever gamble with the munchkin, okay? I'm glad I could help. Now, if only I hadn't gambled away my brain. What? Oh, I wish I had a brain that would be cool. Stop. And then I'd be smart. Please? Maybe go to school. Oh, sweet home Alabama, please just shut up. Okay, anyways, the only person who could give me a brain would be the Wizard of Oz. If only someone knew how to get there. I'm going there right now. Great, I'm coming with you. I'll just pack up my toothbrush, some tuna, my extra pair of overalls, crow repellent, of course. I never said you could go. <laughs> Fine. I'll just sit here. Brainless. Alone. Lonely. Completely and utterly alone. Fine. But I want the tuna. Deal. Lottie? I've been expecting you. You said you wanted to talk to me? That depends. Kit. If that's even your real name. What? Depends on what? I guess it would depend on whether or not you're willing to talk. Why don't you have a seat? What is all this? There's been a crime in the house, Kit. And you're suspect number one. Here you go. Anything else? Could you fetch me a glass of milk? Sure. Uh, I'll be right back. Ew! How can you expect me to drink this repulsive, filthy thing? You call milk. But I just got- DISGUSTING! No. I want the milk of an octopus from the southern tip of the Bermuda Triangle. It has to be one with blue and black spots. But the Bermuda Triangle is so- NO BUTS! Bring me my Bermuda octopus milk or do not return at all. Okay. Is it really worth it going all the way to the Bermuda Triangle for milk? Anything for money. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of Tiffany and Hank. Hank, do you take Tiffany to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her and comfort her as long as you both shall live? Yeah, I am for it. Tiffany, do you take Hank to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to love him and comfort him as long as you both shall live? I do. The couple will now exchange vows. I, Tiffany, take you, Hank, to be my husband, secure in the knowledge that you will be my constant friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. I, Hank, take you, Tiffany. Hey, Ella, when the guy says speak now, make sure you say I object. That's how you say that you're really happy for them. Oh, okay. The two will now exchange rings. If anyone has any reason these two should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object! <laughs> yeah, I totally object. Huh? You little whippersnapper. Ella, Ella, what do you mean you object? I mean, I really support this marriage. Uh, uh, okay, then let's just keep going. Woo! By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yes, I totally ejected that so hard. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, what's the big idea? Huh? Hey, lady, you see that stick of butter over there? Y yeah. Pop it on me. Make me a piece of butter toast. How about that? Okay. Wow, wow, wee woo. What what the heck just happened? Papa, Papa, I'm a real boy. Papa, what is that stuffed turkey doing here? Um, listen, Winnie. I think the best course of action is to forget what the heck we just witnessed and run. Good plan. I don't have a heart. Take me to the Wizard of Oz, Papa. You're going to follow us anyway if I say no, right? Yup, Papa. Okay, you can come if you quit calling me Papa. Yay, Pop! I mean, Father?